so in this video i've got another modded outfit for you guys so we're going to be doing a transfer glitch which means that you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one so before you start a glitch go ahead and equip the outfit that you don't want to lose before you do it also go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece it doesn't matter which earpiece you buy just go to ammunition and buy a rebreather or an earpiece once you're ready just come to the clothing store put your spawn location and last location put on the outfit that you don't want to lose hit your pause button go to online and go to swap character Once you get in here, you're going to want to go over to your second character. It's either going to tell you edit or delete. If it says delete your second character, go ahead and delete your second character. And then two new characters are going to come walking in. And then it should give you the button to say edit or the option to say edit. But if you see edit, go ahead and press edit on your second character. And when he or she is going, you're going to get this black alert screen right here. That's going to actually copy yourself over. Just go ahead and accept that. When you get in here, if your second character ended up being a male just go ahead and change it into a female but if it's already a female just go ahead and leave it as a female go ahead and save and continue make a name for it um take the picture and then when you take the picture and it's loading it may or may not play the casino dlc trailer if it plays it it's not going to affect the glitch if it doesn't play it's also not going to affect the glitch you're just waiting to get spawned inside of your new session now when this part was loading for me most of the time it doesn't play the casino dlc trailer but when the, when the game was loading it timed me out so if you get timed out or anything you're gonna have to start the glitch all over again so just go ahead and delete your second character and then switch to your main character and then just um start the glitch from there so when i was loading inside my, my new session it timed me out and sometimes when it times you out um it's better to just start the glitch all over again because if it times you out it messes up the glitch because i remember i did it on stream and i got timed out and i just, um, still tried to do the glitch and then the outfits didn't transfer over so if you get timed out or anything um at this point just go ahead and it's probably going to load into um, story mode and then you just want to go ahead and go to swap character delete uh your second character go back on your male character and then start the glitch or get off the game and then start the glitch again i think so far like this is my second time getting timed out that first time was on stream and then this one was a different one so when i'm when i spawn inside my new session my female character is going to look a little bit different or completely different because i had to start all over since i got timed out so my female character is going to look different from what you guys just saw since i had to do the beginning part over again since i got timed out so when you get spawned inside a new session all you want to do is just go ahead and open up your mini map and you just want to look for the clothing stores so if you don't see any clothing stores on your mini map, all you have to do is just find a new session or just switch sessions and then the clothing stores are going to appear inside of your new session. But if you do see the uh, clothing stores in your session, just going to make your way over to any of the clothing stores. So if you don't see any clothing stores in your session, all you have to do is find a new session or switch sessions and then the clothing stores are going to appear inside of your new session. Anyway, once you get inside of the clothing store, you want to go ahead and go to the top section, go to gun running t-shirts and purchase the blue digital t-shirt. So come to gun running t-shirts and purchase the blue digital t-shirt which should be the last one number 60 i'm pretty sure so you just go ahead and buy the blue digital t-shirt so once you have that you want to back out then the top section go to leather jacket and purchase the black deep belted leather jacket so just go to leather jacket and purchase the black deep belted leather jacket So that's what it looks like number 44 once you have that you just want to go ahead and back out go to the pants section go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants so just come over here to the pants section go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants once you have those you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the shoes go to the boots and purchase the worn chocolate slack boots so just come over here to the shoe section go to the boots and purchase the worn chocolate slack boots
so once you've got that you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the accessories when you come to the accessories you want to go to the earrings and take them off because some female characters do spawn in with earrings by default so just come over to the earrings and go ahead and take off any earrings that's on your female character once you take your earrings off your female character you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the caps or the hats and you want to go to the caps forward and purchase the fall cap so come to the hat go to the caps forward and buy the fall cap so number 16 just go ahead and buy that once you have that you just want to go ahead and come and save the outfit now someone tried to shoot up the clothing store and I went and passed it and went to a different clothing store so once you buy the fall cap on your outfit you just want to go ahead and save it so when you save it you want to make sure you save it in an empty slot that's on your main character so let's say the outfit I didn't want to lose it on my main character was on slot 20 I would just save this in a different slot so just go ahead and save it in an empty slot that's on your main character so I'm just going to come over here to this new clothing store and I'm just going to go ahead and come save the outfit I'm just gonna go ahead and save in an empty slot that's on my main character. So once you save the outfit, you just wanna go ahead and back out, go to standard outfit, and purchase the chica outfit. So just go ahead and go into the standard outfit, purchase the chica outfit. When you have that, just go ahead and back out, hit your pause button, go to online, and go inside of creator. When you get inside of creator, go ahead and click on create a race, and then you want to go ahead and click on land race. When you get loaded in, go ahead and click on race details, go ahead and fill out the title and the description. It doesn't have to be anything specific. Go ahead and take the photo and then put the maximum players on two and put the route type on point to point. Once you've got that, just hit your pause button and warp over to the airport. When you get to the airport, just go ahead and hit B, go to placement, go ahead and place the trigger, go to place trigger, go ahead and place it down, then back out of that. Take the lobby camera, then go ahead and back out of that, and then click on the checkpoint. Now, when you make your race, it has to be only 0.62 miles or longer. So just go ahead and make your race 0.62 miles or longer. Once you've made it 0.62 miles or longer, you just want to go ahead and hit B twice, and it's going to give you the option to test out the race. So just hit B twice after you've done making the race um, 0.62 miles or longer, and then it's going to give you the option to test it out and you just want to go ahead and test out the race you made once you finish the race you're going to get that completed alert go ahead and accept that when you load in just go ahead and hit your pause button go to online and go to choose character So when you get in here you're gonna want to go over to your second character and we're going to delete her so make sure you go over to the second character with a chica outfit on you don't want to delete your main character so go over to your second character that has a chica outfit on and just go ahead and type in delete to confirm it and then delete it so once you delete that second character two new characters are going to come in you just want to go ahead and hit b so it takes you into single player or story mode so when these two new characters come in just hit b so it takes you into single player When you get single player, all you want to do from here is just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GTA online, and just go inside of an invite only session. So just go inside of an invite only session when you get spawned into single player. When you load in online, first thing you want to do is just go ahead and save the outfit that you didn't want to lose because it's not going to be saved. So go ahead and come save the outfit. When you save it, make sure you save it towards the bottom so it doesn't mess up when you're trying to merge your other outfits. So once you save this outfit, you just want to go ahead and hit B. You want to go to the Gorka outfits or the Gorka suits. 
and you just want to go ahead and purchase the black and red Gorka suit. So you just come to the Gorka suit and purchase the black and red Gorka suit. Once you have that, just completely back out, hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, go to versus, and start up the crooked cops. When you start up crooked cops in the settings menu, you want to go ahead and put the clothing on player own and invite either a friend or a random. So if you don't put the clothing on player own, the glitch isn't going to work. Make sure you put the clothing on player own and invite either a friend or a random to join. You need only one person. So when the job starts up, go to own outfits, hit right on the d-pad only once, and you should have this exact same outfit that I have right here. So just go to own outfits and hit right on the d-pad only once. So when you get loaded inside of uh, the mission or the job, you just want to go ahead and open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to the accessories, put on either the rebreather or the earpiece, whichever one you decide to buy. Once you put that on, just go ahead and open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Once you load in, you should still have the same outfit you had from the job. So once you load in, all you want to do is just going to come save the outfit inside of ammunition. When you save the outfit, you can delete the component for it because you don't need it since you've already got the outfit. So once you save the outfit, you get to keep it. So if you guys like the outfit and we're able to get it, don't forget to drop a like on the video, share it, subscribe, and don't forget to turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on any other videos.